YouTubers, I'm going to be having another Bell's beer that was sent to me by Endosymbiosis, aka Daniel. And that is going to be their Hop Slam 2011. It's really awesome of him to send me these beers, so thanks again, Daniel. Um, Alright, so this is their double IPA. It's fairly popular. It's way up there as far as the well-known sought-after double IPAs go. Uh, this is an 11% double IPA, no, 10%. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, it's uh, brewed with honey, and uh, I actually reviewed this uh, last year, so you could check it here on my other channel. Um, but I just remember it just being so excellent. Uh, cool bottle cap, by the way. And anyways, yeah, it's it's a. Uh, I just remember it being really, really good, and I th I think the honey really helped balance it out the hops and stuff. So, anyways, here we go. It is the Hop Slam. If, if you could actually see, this is interesting. Uh, as the carbonation is rising up, there's some, some of these sediments, probably just pieces of the hops, that are just kind of dancing around the, the bubbles, uh, creating a very minimal head, actually. It's a really beautiful color. It's just golden orange color. Uh, let me go ahead and check the aroma now. Wow. Man, yeah, it's it's got this sort of creamy tropical smell to it. Not right away. This is actually kind of the second layer of the aroma. I guess mean, you, you, you right up front you get the hops and there's some sweetness, and I believe that's the honey. And it's not that sweetness like you know sometimes it's like syrupy malty kind of double IPA. It's not like that. It's definitely this nice subtle honey kind of uh, sweetness. And definitely, like, like I said, it's got this tropical uh, mango-ish kind of smell. Uh, why don't I go ahead and uh, drink this here. Come bite. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Um, yeah, this one is even better than last year. I heard last year is from people that get it every year. They're like, oh, yeah, it's, it was all right. It wasn't as good. But man, this year's, <laughs> shoot, man, it's, it's just a lot of flavors going on in this thing. I I, I dig this thing. And you, you, you definitely get the hops, but it's not like hop forward, you know? It's it's like this really nice, even, balanced double IP. I'm wondering how, how this would taste if there was no honey. Because, although I do get the sweetness and the honey and all that, right? But I'm wondering if the honey is actually responsible for just melding all the flavors together just creating this beautiful canvas of, of flavors because yeah you, you get the citrus you get the mango you get the tropical fruits subtly um, the hops are there as well um, somewhat floral smell it's more that than citrus definitely a floral kind of smell not too much pine uh, some people actually prefer the Two-Hearted Ale, which is their regular IPA, which uh, was the case for Jay, which his screen name is JJRudy41. You should check his reviews, by the way. Um, but anyways, yeah, this this wasn't his favorite, for sure, and I know a lot of people get all hyped up, oh, hop slam, hop slam, and all that, but I personally think it's worth the hype, and... You know, sometimes you get you don't get the optimal bottle, and maybe it's it's not your taste too. There's also that involved too. But as far as how it's made and how they accomplish this, the the, the pro entire profile of this beer is quite impressive. And man, this totally suits my tastes as far as di double IPAs go. Cause, wow, seriously, this this is really good. Thanks so much again, Daniel. This is really good. Well, anyways, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this beer, so thanks for watching. This was Bell's Hop Slam. Definitely get it somehow if you live in Michigan or wherever you live, uh, beer trades. Definitely get it. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in another beer blog. Come bye.